Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I know I did a video on this before, but it's been a while back. So I thought I'd do a little refresher on this because uh, the new beekeepers need to see this. And what I'm doing, I'm going down through here, requeening these splits that I've done. And when I come to this one, this was uh, one of our overwintered nukes that lost its queen. Uh, there's pretty much, well, not much of anything really in there. There's absolutely no eggs at all. Uh, let me see, let me pull this up because I can't remember what was on this yesterday. Uh, so this one, well, there's a little bit of cat brood on this side, but it looks like the last of the cat brood. So. I guess you can go back 21 days if this is actually hatching out today then you could say well three weeks ago they could have had a queen nothing other than what little cat brood is on this frame here mostly on this side and there's a few drone cells right there but it is queenless there's no eggs larva nothing but bees and a little bit of cat brood and then another big sign and I've talked about this before when I opened the hive up the bees are very flighty they like they don't have purpose they don't have reason see how they're they're just up and flighty and noisy loud sometimes they're really grumpy when they're like this i've not really been hit by them yet i did put a little bit of smoke on them you like this frame here it's uh it should have larvae in, on it the eggs but there's there's nothing so i'm thinking maybe the queen even was failing <clears throat> she wasn't that good of a queen to begin with. But that the way the bees are acting and the sound of that hive, there's some cat brood there, of course. It's, it's most definitely queenless. And I just wanted to kind of remind people about that noise and the flightiness and how they're acting and uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and requeen this hive and i'm gonna put a starter strip in here and get rid of one of these very black combs okay I'm going to put my starter strip. It's actually an old frame, but it has a remnant of wax on the very top of it. Same as a starter strip. So I'm going to drop that down right here. Then I'm going to move this frame. Blowing it right up against that queen. Like that. Put this frame here. They got some pollen on this frame. They're going to need fed. So, let's see what they do with that. See how, look at look how they're, they're flighty up here. How they're, they're just not, that's not typical how a hive acts normally. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just, you can tell just by doing it as long as I have and going through as many hives as I had. It's just that action. As soon as I opened it up, I knew something was wrong. So they may have possibly killed the queen. So I'm going to keep an eye on that cage. And I'll pull it out here uh, before they actually release her. I'll give it about a day. And it'll take them longer than a day to get her out. And I'm going to see how they're acting on that cage. See if they're biting at the wire. When I open it up and... Uh, probably tomorrow I'll probably come out here tomorrow first thing pull it up look and see how they're acting on that cage see if they're biting at the cage see if they're trying to feed her through the cage you can tell i've done it so long it just 
I can tell when I when I look. I could probably even pull it out here now and just see how they're acting. Let's do, go ahead and do that. I've had her in there a couple of seconds. Let's see what what they're doing with her. If they're doing anything with her yet. Well, they're definitely on the cage. Okay, see their mouth? See their mouth face down towards the wire? Uh, they're not biting. They're usually, if, if they're being aggressive, they will be curled up, trying to sting through the wire. Biting at the wire, very, very aggressive acting. Uh, you got one here on the top of the axle, like she's going to start fanning with her tail sticking up in there, but <laughs> it's like she's in half motion. They act pretty docile to us from what I'm seeing. It's just a matter of seeing it so many times over and over and over. Okay, right there's a queen, uh, queen. right there's a worker fanning. There's two workers fanning. One there, one there. So that goes to show right there, they're fanning the pheromones. So that's all a good sign. Now uh, that, that right there will tell you that there's no queen in there, the way they're acting towards this one. It's, it's very calm acting, no noise, not loud, just gentle acting, like they're trying to feed her through the wire. You don't see any of them curled up their tail down. I think we're good here. Actually, I won't even get back in here until they release her. I'm confident with that right there. They'll be good to go with her because they are absolutely queenless. Unless just some miracle that, and it's not likely, and not saying that you won't watch the video and say, there's the queen, he missed it. But it just, it, it would surprise me greatly if that was the case. It really would. So folks, that's about it. Don't forget, click on the little bell. Please check out my uh, other uh, homestead hacks uh, YouTube channel. Go check it out, put a link in the description. It's all about farming. Fishing, gardening, and such. And don't forget, click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnard Bees.